this video, we'll explore how to break free from the fear, guilt, and shame and expectations put on us from the outside world. And we'll uncover three essential frames or steps making self-love actually attainable instead of just a nice idea. I'm Morgan Day Cecil, your feminine embodiment coach and a new kind of manifestation guide. And today I'm gonna guide you through three powerful steps so you can reclaim your self-worth and build unshakable self-love no matter what age you are. We're gonna dive into self-validation, self-respect, and self-encouragement. And you won't wanna miss that last one. It's often the hardest, but it's also the most life-changing. Let's dive in. Step one self-validation or condition almost on impulse to invalidate our ideas our emotions our experiences our desires have you ever asked yourself who's approving of me who's accepting of me have you ever shared an idea and then looked around the room to see what kind of response you get we look for expression facial gestures any signs signs that we are approved of those signs may be so important to our sense of self that we are constantly in vigilante mode scanning the horizon scanning the room who's approving of me what are the signs that they're approving of me how do i know they accept me is there a tinge of disapproval in their voice or their body language or their stare for many women there's a program always running in the background wondering am i safe is it safe for me to express myself how much can I express myself? Who's approving of me? Who's ensuring my safety and my security? Who accepts me? Who might be on the edge of disapproving of me? This subconscious programming leads to feeling completely insecure inside. You're only as secure as your last compliment, your last applause, or your last check mark of approval. And now this is you, you are so normal like so, so normal. Do not feel any ounce of shame or condemnation or inferiority because you experience this. One of my favorite clients, she's a super successful woman, a partner in a law firm in DC, and she struggles with this. One of the biggest things we've been working on is that internal self-validation to feel absolutely secure in yourself no matter what room you're in or who's in the room with you. Self-validation is a cornerstone of self-love. As we age, we can often feel like our value as a woman diminishes, especially in a world obsessed with youth and beauty. But self-validation means you do not need external approval or applause in order to feel good about yourself. Self-validation means permission acceptance, approval, and applause comes from within you. How many times have you dismissed your opinions, your preferences, your ideas, your desires, because you thought they were too much or not important? In just a minute, I'll share a practice that helps you develop self-validation, so keep watching. Step two, self-respect. What is absolutely essential for self-respect is regaining trust and intimacy with yourself, with your body, to be able to receive her cues, hear her cues, and respond to her cues. This is really simple stuff, like noticing when you gotta go pee, or when you're thirsty, or when you're hungry, or when you need a nap. Self-respect means honoring your needs and setting boundaries that honors your time and energy. Even though we spent years prioritizing others, you may still feel uncomfortable and even guilt saying no, even when saying yes, you know, would be a betrayal to your own body or soul. Maybe you feel like your role is to be the one everyone can depend on to accommodate others or to keep the peace. But when you constantly sacrifice your needs, resentment builds and self-love diminishes. And when you're constantly ignoring your body's cues for what you need on a foundational biological level, that erodes your body's trust in you. Part of building self-respect on your way to unshakable self-love Maybe going on a journey to regain deep trust and intimacy with yourself so that your body knows that you are listening, that you are paying attention, right? All love begins in the act of paying attention and that you will honor her needs. So many of my clients come to me because they can't say no without feeling guilty and they hate letting people down but they're in their 40s and 50s now and they're so tired of betraying themselves in order to receive the love and acceptance from others. Learning how to respect their own boundaries completely changes their relationship and their life. Before this video is over, I'll share exactly how they did it and how you can too. So keep watching. Step three, self-encouragement. Self-encouragement is often the missing piece. So many women experience what's known as a praise deficit. 
They did not experience the praise and encouragement growing up. And so now giving themselves that praise and encouragement feels so foreign and weird. Little girls are often taught to be humble and to not brag. As a result, we never learn how to celebrate ourselves or our successes. So many women embrace the lie that it's too late for them to pursue their own dreams. But the door is now closed and the best years are now behind you. But that's simply not true. Encouraging yourself is about reminding yourself day to day, moment to moment if necessary, that your dreams matter and that you are capable no matter what age you are. I want to share with you some practices to help you self-validate, self-respect, and self-encourage. Because these three things are necessary if you want to build an unshakable foundation of self-love. I bet you have a self-invalidation story like this of your own. So I was like nine or 10 years old and I remember making scrambled eggs for the first time practically by myself. I think my mom or dad was there to kind of oversee and make sure I didn't burn down the house, but I felt like these scrambled eggs were my scrambled eggs. And I was so proud because these scrambled eggs were tasty. And I put them on the plate and I served them to my family and I said very proudly, these are the best scrambled eggs ever. I am an incredible chef. And the look from my mom and my dad was like, if they saw me spit in my teacher's face, they were so concerned. And they told me, you can't say that. You can't say that. That's called bragging and little girls shouldn't brag. Now, I doubt my parents remember this and I think they would totally do things differently, but this is my memory of how things went. And basically what registered in me was, it is so not okay to be proud of yourself. Self-validation, self-encouragement, danger, 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 you will be shamed. And so from then on, I learned to play down all of my successes, to be very wary and skeptical of any internal feeling of feeling proud of myself. And for the love of God, to never say out loud how awesome I am. And to, for the love of God, to never say out loud how awesome I think I am, or how proud of my accomplishments I am, or how much I love my creations. So on my journey of learning unshakable self-love, I had to learn self-validation, self-respect, and self-encouragement. And self-encouragement was actually the hardest. And it's still to this day something I have to really work on. In 30 seconds, I'm going to teach you the practice that hits on all these three elements that helps you build self-validation, self-respect, and self-encouragement. The most important part of this practice is when you utilize it. If you utilize it exactly how I tell you to, your results will be a thousand times more powerful. And here it is. It's so simple. Two words. I approve. You're going to train yourself for any time you feel a biological cue or a shift in your mood or emotion. Here's what I mean. You notice you have to pee. I approve. You notice you're kind of thirsty. I approve. You notice you're kind of tired. I approve. Those are the biological cues and that's going to help you build self-respect. That it's okay to have needs, that you notice these needs and you're going to honor those needs. And that's part two, right? As soon as you say, if you say I approve, that means you got to let yourself go pee if you have to go pee. Or you got to pour yourself a glass of water if you're thirsty, all right? But that's part two. The first step is just to say, I approve. So the biological cues, number one, and also any shifts in mood or emotion. It doesn't matter what it is, positive or negative, true or false. Here's an example. You decide to do something a little bit outside your comfort zone. You're wearing something that feels a little risky, a little more revealing, but your soul feels super attractive and radiant and you want to wear it. So you wear it. And then the old you is looking for cues around you in your environment that lets you know there's approval, you're safe, it's okay that you're wearing this dress or wearing these shoes. And let's say you walk into a room and you get side eyes and you interpret that as someone doesn't approve of what I'm wearing. The first thing you say is I approve, I approve. And it means a couple things. I approve that I feel this way. I approve also of what I'm wearing. It's okay that I feel whatever I feel. I recognize that the old programming is getting up here. I'm present for it. That voice is the voice of the witness the one that is loving you, guiding you. It's the voice of your soul that you cannot do anything wrong. I approve, I approve, I approve. And because no matter what it is, that self-approval is so important to empower you to make whatever choices are necessary next. Approval and attention go hand in hand. All love begins in the act of paying attention. 
That attention isn't just any old kind of attention. It's definitely not the inner critic's attention. That attention is the soft eyes of the witness, the divine feminine that is always looking at you with eyes of love and acceptance, of eyes of approval. Those two words are so important. I approve. And now here's the fun part. You're going to use those same words whenever you feel joy, whenever you're proud of yourself, whenever you look in the mirror and you're like, hmm, I actually look pretty good. I want you to say, I approve. I approve. I approve. You do some good work that you're proud of. You know, you gave it your best before you get any external feedback. You're going to approve of that good feeling inside. You take a glimpse of yourself before you hop into bed and you notice how hot and sexy you are. I approve. I approve. I approve. Maybe you just did something really hard, really challenging. You stepped outside of your comfort zone and you spoke your truth to a friend. I approve. Whether you're experiencing something in your body, something biological, something emotional, or something spiritual, I approve, I approve, I approve. Self-approval is that quality of attention of the Divine Mother that says, you can do no wrong in my eyes. I love you unconditionally. That is how you build unshakable self-love through the door of attention and self-approval. First, you pay attention to your body's cues, to your emotional temperament, and then you simply speak, I approve, I approve, I approve. And you speak it from that part of you that is the witness the part of you that is always looking with soft eyes at the world, eyes of love, that part of you that is not in a rush at all, but is here for the journey, here for the life lessons. Mistakes and failures don't faze her. I approve, I approve, I approve. Everything is happening for me. I am learning and growing through everything. You will build self-respect by paying attention to your body's cues and your body's needs and by approving of them. You're allowed to have needs. You're allowed to have desires too. Your body is allowed to want what it wants, to need what it needs, approve of it. You will build self-validation by approving of your emotional world. This is how you heal your inner child. If you grew up constantly seeking outside of yourself for validation and proof that you are safe by paying attention to your emotional world and approving of it no matter what, that is how you build self-validation. And that self-validation is a cornerstone to inner security. You do not need the approval acceptance or applause of anybody from the outside world you can give it to yourself i approve i approve i approve and finally self-encouragement paying attention to when you are happy to when you are lit up to when you are proud of yourself and simply saying those two words i approve i approve i approve this good feeling i'm allowed to feel it this sense of pride in who i am I'm allowed to feel it. Feeling good about the way that I look, feeling beautiful, dressing how I want to dress, showing up in the world how I want to show up. I approve. I approve. I approve. Do this daily. Remember how I told you there's special timing to this, that when you do it at a specific time during the day, you will multiply, amplify your results. Well, here it is. There's actually three specific instances. First thing in the morning, I approve. I approve. I approve. Let those be the first two words out of your mouth. Last thing at night, I approve, I approve, I approve. Fall asleep with those two words on your lips. No matter how the day went, you approve of yourself. No matter how you wake up feeling, approve of yourself. The reason why I want you to do it first thing in the morning and last thing at night is because that is a liminal space where your subconscious mind is so receptive to new programming. If you have lived any number of years or decades like so many women disapproving of yourself almost by default, right? then it's so important to start approving of yourself every single chance you get. And by taking advantage of these times of day, when you have more access to your subconscious mind to make that reprogramming easier. Now, and now the third powerful time to use this practice to 10X your results. Anytime you're triggered, anytime you feel thrown, I approve. I approve, I approve, I approve. Why? Because this disrupts the old pattern. And it's so important for reprogramming to help you build unshakable self-love to disrupt the old pattern of self-invalidation, self-disrespect, self-discouragement. So I approve, no matter what it is, no matter what's triggering you, no matter who's triggering you, I approve, I approve, I approve. That's also saying at a deep level, I am resilient and I am strong enough to experience this experience. Whatever I'm feeling right now, it is safe to feel it. And that is square one. We have to move through things. We can no longer repress them or deny them or sugarcoat them or pretend they don't bother us. We need to feel it. I approve, I approve, I approve. Feel it and see what happens next. These words, I approve, are so powerful. Like the soft eyes practice, 
They tap us into that cosmic mother archetype, the archetype of unconditional self-love and acceptance. And this is my bonus tip. If you want the shortcut, a real quantum leap and timeline hop into unshakable self-love, tap into that archetype of the cosmic mother. She is nothing but unconditionally loving and accepting. That pattern of consciousness will drop you into that state of absolute self-love where you can see yourself clearly and love yourself fully. And if you want to go deeper into learning how to activate this archetype and five others that are so powerful for helping you become the woman you desire to be, I'll leave a link in the description box for my signature course, Heal Your Own Gaze. But for now, I'll end the video here. I trust it was of service to you. Remember, you can trust what lights you up. What lights you up leads you home.